Hi guys, my name is Nikki, aka The Dragon Queen, and today I'm here with my September wrap-up. I was able to listen to a lot of audiobooks and read some physical books this month, including a review slash arc copy. The first book I jumped into was the audiobook for The Warlock by Michael Scott. Um, I gave this book five out of five stars. The series is getting so much better now that it is going forward, and I cannot wait to jump further into the series, especially now that things are starting to happen. Next, I listened to the audiobook Slasher Girls and Monster Boys by a multitude of authors, including some popular ones as A.G. Howard and Jay Kristoff. I was, I saw this book on, I think Audible, maybe it was Overdrive, and it just sounded interesting. It felt like it would get me into the mood of Halloween in October, and I was just like, yes, it's almost Halloween, thank goodness. And I listened to the audiobook and absolutely adored it. There was a different narrator for every book, or so it seemed, and they were just a bunch of short stories, and most of them were fantastic. One of them in particular was by Jay Kristoff, and I've never read anything by Jay Kristoff before, but now I am a fan. I am such a fan. I think it was called Sleepless, and it was just perfect, and it was so inspiring for some of the work I am currently working on. So if you haven't read this book, you need to go read this book. It was fantastic. Um, I think I gave every single short story at least a three-star rating, and the highest was five-star. Then I got to the audiobook of Everland by Wendy Spinell. I gave this book three out of five stars. I'm not going to get into why because I do have a review about that here and you can feel free to click on that to go and check out that video. Um, it was just lackluster in my opinion, but you might enjoy it. Go check out the video to find out more. This must be the month of book reviews because another one that I have a video on is the next book I read, which was a semi-definitive list of Worst Nightmares by Crystal Sutherland. This book I gave five out of five stars. I absolutely adored it so much. It had such good representation between race, between um, sexuality, uh, mental illnesses. There was just so much representation done in this book and it was done really well. And you see that from a perspective of a girl who has anxiety. So as somebody with anxiety and with depression, I felt like it was pretty damn accurate. <laughs> Go check out my review here in order to hear more about my gushing of that book. Then I finished the paperback of Untamed by A.G. Howard. This is the 3.5 version of the trilogy. It kind of gives you some short story, anthology, novella length things um, on characters from the trilogy, including how um, Alyssa's mom and dad met, Morpheus and Alyssa's marriages, and stuff like that. Um, Overall, I gave this book four out of five stars. Some of the stories I was really interested in, especially like Alyssa and Morpheus, but some of them I just wasn't that interested in. And like the first story is in the perspective of the mother. And it kind of pulled me out of the story because I was so confused. I went into it thinking it was going to be Alyssa. So I'm like, wait, who is this? What is going on? So it took me a little bit to realize, oh, okay, this is what's happening. So I did give this book four out of five stars. I do highly recommend it, especially for the Alyssa stories. Then I saw that Wandering Star was available on audiobook, so I ended up buying it on audible.com. And I, this is by Romania Russell, and I gave it three out of five stars. The reasons that I gave, I believe, Zodiac three out of five stars is the same reasons why I gave this one three out of five stars. I'm not a huge fan of some of the forced reactions, I guess, and the I don't trust you, oh, I trust you, I don't trust you, oh, I trust you, back and forth. And also, there is a love triangle in the story, and honestly, I don't like who she's going with. I don't want to give spoilers, but I don't like the person that she seems to be levitating towards. And maybe it's just me and my dislike of love triangles, but I'm like, oh my god, stop it. You were doing so well, and then the love triangle came back. <sighs> 
Also, the main character is kind of whiny, which kind of annoys me, but she does become kind of kick-ass, but it's one of those things where, like, she's just, where she's just, like, in charge for no reason whatsoever, and I don't know why. Kind of like in the Hunger Games, where she just becomes the voice of the rebellion. It's overdone and it's overplayed, in my opinion. I think that it was interesting to how it went, and it left you in a cliffhanger where I want to know more, but I'm not like, I have to read it now. Then, for my Pop Sugar Challenge, I finally read Falling Up by Shel Silverstein. This is a book of poems, and I've had it, it was written in 1996, so it does fall into my empty shelfy September challenge of read a book from the 90s. Um, it was a very quick read, it's a bunch of short poems, like I said, I've already read them multiple times, so it was fairly quick, and I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. There are a lot of poems in this story that actually, like, drive home, and no matter how old or young you are, you'll find something in here that fits and hits hard. At least I think. Kind of like Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss is the same way, you can read it as a child and it's fun, and you can read it as an adult and you're like, oh, there's hidden meaning in here. Yeah, like the star, star belly, remember that one? Yeah, that applies to today. Just saying. Then I jumped into the last week of September, which was Royalty Readathon. I am not going to go into too much detail about the books that I read, but I will tell you the star rating. I will do a separate readathon for Royalty Readathon wrap up. Uh, first, all of these are audiobook. Just throwing that out there. The first book I listened to was Matilda by Roald Dahl, the, and I gave this book five out of five stars. The second book I listened to was Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake. I gave this book 3.5 slash four out of five stars. I will go into further detail into my other wrap up. Then I finished the audiobook from Wonder Woman by Leah Bardugo. I gave this book five out of five stars. And finally, today, I finished The Magician King by Lev Grossman, and I gave this book three out of five stars. If you want to know what else I thought about those books, you will need to go to my TBR. If you, it's not up yet, it will be up soon. And finally, the last book that I finished this month was a ebook and a art copy of Alithia by Megan Tannis. You can check out my review here. And I gave this book five out of five stars. It was phenomenal. So highly recommend you check out those books. What have you been reading this month? Have you loved anything you read? Hated anything you read? DNF'd anything you read? What are you reading right this second? Let me know down below. I am super excited for next month because Empty Shelfie has seven challenges and I'm going to try to read all seven. Oh, wish me luck. How are you going to do next month? Let me know down below. Comment if you read any of the books that I've read and if you loved them, hate them, or indifferent. And like if you like it, subscribe if you want to. And this is the Dragon Queen signing off.